Fishland Das Peninsula, a windswept refuge on the Baltic Sea. Cornelia Pieper often comes to the rugged beaches here for inspiration. I live on the wonderful Fishland Dars Peninsula. It's unique because of the diverse landscapes you find in a small area. Cliffs, forests that come right down to the water, and beaches, of course. And sweet little lagoons, too. Painters have been drawn to the area for more than a hundred years. Most come to Ahrenshoop, a small fishing village that plays home to an artist colony. The peninsula's remoteness has long been a source of fascination for many who've taken up residence on the beautiful shores of Fishland Das. But Ahrenshoop isn't Germany's only destination for artists who are seeking a rural idyll. Vorpsfeda in the Teufelsmoor, northeast of Bremen, has also long been a refuge for artists. Painters would often sail on the boats of local peat cutters. Karsten Thun explains how concerted efforts were made to preserve the sailing tradition of the peat cutters. They made sure large trees didn't break up the landscape. They wanted to be able to sail with their peat cutters. If there had been large thickets, they wouldn't have gotten a good wind. So they cut the trees back to let the wind blow across the river Hama. Traders used the Hama River to transport peat from the moor to Bremen. It took three days to make the 30-kilometer trip. For outdoor painters, the interplay of natural light and landscape creates many of the impressions that go into a painting. Here, the canals with their small streams, shady thickets and shimmering birches offer a unique visual opportunity. Even today, the far-reaching horizon inspires artists to pick up brush and palette. I can understand why artists, especially from big cities or academies in big cities, have taken to this area. It offers them a change, and the fascination is still alive. The Barkenhof. The heart of the traditional artist colony, established by the Art Nouveau artist Heinrich Vogeler. This is where artists from a wide range of disciplines gather to exchange ideas and attend concerts, festivals and readings. Visitors can even room in the former home of Paula Modersohn Becker, one of Germany's leading expressionist painters. A hundred and forty artists live in Vorpsveda. They include Ivanka Slobodova. Born in former Czechoslovakia, Ivanka came to Vorpsveda on a scholarship. The landscape, uh, the landscape here is very special. It's the river and the mountain, the flatlands in the evening. I've studied it for years. It's so magical that I can't paint it all outside. I have to come to my studio and work at home. Ivanka draws her ideas from nature, the light, Colors and shapes of the natural world are reborn as glowing surfaces. Artists looking for perfect natural light have also found a home further south, in Murnau, in Bavaria. Known as the Blue Land, the region became home to the Blauer Reiter art movement of Franz Marc and Vasily Kandinsky. 
their first exhibits around Munich raised eyebrows. Their canvases were radical by design. The artists wanted to provoke their audience and saw themselves as the avant-garde of modern art. The style they founded was controversial for decades and transformed Murnau into one of the most important centers of expressionist art in Germany.